what's the name of you guys' group? Uh, you can say the Niggas Kingdom. The <laughs> Niggas Kingdom? Niggas. Ne oh, Niggas. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Was your husband in it first or you? He was in it, in it first. Okay, so he was in it first. And um, was he in it when y'all met? Yes. It doesn't sound like you got radicalized in college, right? Nah, because most of my professors was, you know, white white men. Well, there's going to be some people that say, all right, well, what, what are y'all going to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to overthrow the U.S. government? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Well, how? Very, you know, articula articulate words from, this your wife, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very articulate words from your wife. Uh, but I got to ask you, okay. what is this plan, man? Like, what, what, this is the U.S. government we're talking about. What are you going to do to withdraw or create your own nation apart from the U.S. government? What makes you any different or what makes you guys any different from the other groups that come out here every weekend? They preach, they teach, they do all this stuff but there's no actual action behind it. What's up, YouTube? I wanna once again thank everybody who comes up to me in the street and shows me real love. Y'all don't even know, it keeps me thankful, it keeps my tank full. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews, out here with another one. So guys, it's kind of a different one today. Um, we got a group of folks here that are really trying to do some radical things or what some would consider radical. Um, and so we're gonna talk about that. Um, but we're going to talk to you about this. Um, you're in that group. What's the name of you guys' group? Uh, you can say the Niggas Kingdom. <laughs> the Niggas Kingdom? Niggas. Ne oh, Niggas. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you caught me for one there. All right. All right. Okay. So the, the Niggas uh, Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so, um, so okay. So first and foremost, so that's, who you, that's what we're doing out here. Um, and so how old are you? I'm 29. 29. And so... Um, and so do you have like any kids and stuff like no, that? I don't have no, no, kids. no kids. Have you been married? I'm married now. Married now. Okay. Um, how long have you been married for? Uh, about four years. Okay. And I'm assuming that he's a part of the group as well. Correct. Okay. So let's first talk about the group stuff. And then we're going to figure out how you kind of got into this stuff. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys, um, you know, what's y'all's goal? What are y'all trying to do out here? Our goal is to start a government for our people. Um, our people meaning black people? Melanated, yes. Melanated okay. people, African people, African American people, people from the islands, all melanated people. The diaspora. Um, diaspora. Okay. Yep. And, and so you're saying start a nation for the diaspora, for the African diaspora? Yes. Okay. Um, and so how do you plan on doing it? Well, we know the, you know, understanding the constitution that we can abolish the government because they're not treating us the way they should, they should be. So in the constitution of America, they also have where citizens can um, petition, and we have a petition to um, return treasures, artifacts that they stole from Ethiopia. And we talk about how religion and government go hand in hand, and how the religion is the ones that's, you know, colonizing the world with false information, and that false information stems to the government, and that's what's governing our world with deception. Okay. So we basically have a case against the Roman Catholic Church for the things that they stole from Ethiopia, which is what connects with the whole mission. Okay, okay. So what um, is there a specific religion or anything that you guys believe in? No, we're not in no religion. Okay, so um, so would you consider yourself an atheist or just... No, we so, believe in God. So you believe in God, but just not don't subscribe to any particular religion. Correct. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay. So, you know, kind of um, what some would consider radical, right? Right, right, right. Um, I'm going to ask a couple questions. Um, first and foremost, how long have y'all been doing this? Well, the leader has been doing it for about maybe eight years. About eight years? 2016. Okay. Um, which one is the leader? Yati Duda. The one with the, the, one with the Okay, with the hat. Okay, okay. So maybe I'll get a chance to talk to him in a second. Okay. Um, and so how long have you been in it? I've been in it for about three years, four years. About three years, four years. And so what was it that made you decide to join this group? Well, I was an architecture major. Um, I graduated from USF in Tampa with architecture. And um, from architecture, I heard about the mission, um, you know, through just um, social media. And it just really touched, you know, my heart when it comes to being an activist and knowing what needs to be done for the people. Um, and basically just knowing the connection between Ethiopia and African Americans. I think was, that's something very important that we need to know about. Okay, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, was your husband in it first or you? He was in it, in it first. Okay, so he was in it first. And um, was he in it when y'all met? 
Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So um, did you find him first or did you find it on social media and stuff like that first? No, I found the mission first. Okay, you found the mission first and then met him. Uh, he was part of the mission. Correct. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, so let's real quick, let's just start with who you are. So where are you from? I'm born in Brooklyn, New York. From Brooklyn? Yeah, I, raised, I was raised in um, Miramar, Florida. Brooklyn, okay, because I'm about to say, I don't hear that. I don't hear that traditional yeah. New York accent. Oh, okay. Okay, so born in BK, man. Shout out Brooklyn for mm-hmm. sure, man. And you say grew up in Miramar. Yep. Okay, man. Miramar, Shout out Florida. Miramar, Florida, man. And so uh, growing up in Florida, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Yeah. Okay, uh, married? Uh, they weren't married. But they were together? Yeah, and together, Okay, yeah. got you. And you have siblings? Yep. How I many? Siblings. About five. Five? Where are you in the birth order? I'm the second youngest. Okay, second. You're the knee baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, so growing up... Um, you know, would you say you had a fairly normal childhood? Uh, maybe not to some some folks, but how so? Uh, you know, my you know, I, I had my father in the beginning of you know me growing up in Florida, but right. then you know later on he did his own thing. What age? Um, about uh, when I was ten, maybe. 10, about ten. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of a crucial age because yeah. you're about to go into those middle school years, which are really crucial. A lot of girls start to get their periods and things like that. It's just a lot of hormonal changes, a lot of stuff going on around those right at, that's the precipice of those teenage years. So he left at that time. Um, was he still active and present? Like, yeah, he was still active. I okay, still so. Seen, yeah, I was still seeing him. Okay, so when you say he was doing his thing, what do you mean? You know, just living his life. Like, not he wasn't with my, my mother anymore, so. He moved on and did what he wanted to do when it comes to living life. Okay. What, um, like, what, like, how do you think that affected, you know, your life and, like, your, you know, raising from that point? Um, I don't think it really affected too much. It just made me focus on what I needed to do as a, a woman, uh, figuring out what, you know, stand I wanted to take into this world. And what and was that? I would say being an activist, being someone that, is actually going to move the people to do something right. You know, there's so much dis- deception going on in the world that we need to do something about it. But, you know, our families aren't used to that, aren't used to being a, in a revolution. You know, we, we didn't grow up understanding that. We, we only t- learned about that, you know, on television. But going, grow, actually doing it, you know, most families don't do it in the black community. Okay, okay. So, all right, so dad was still active and present. Um, you ended up, I'm sure, going to high school. So we ended up at USC, so I'm at UCF. Uh, C graduate. Shout out to UCF, by the way. USF, Sorry. USF. USF. Okay, okay. So, what, wait, USF, so. That's in Tampa. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I know that one. All right, well, shout out USF. Shout out USF. All right, and so, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it, it doesn't sound like you got radicalized in college, right? Yeah, because most of my professors was, you know, white, white men. Um, you know, a lot of racism in in Tampa too um but I I think that kind of helped me realize what needed to be done because you don't have that much you know black architects that's teaching black people so I think that type of image was missing and I think that that's what really kind of sparked me to do more did you ever have an idea to maybe try to go to HBCU or something like that um I didn't think about it at that time so it just wasn't on your radar or whatever okay okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a couple pushback questions, right? So, you know, there's gonna be some people that say, "All right, well, what what are y'all gonna do?" Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, you're gonna overthrow the U.S. government? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Well, how? With the truth. The Give truth. it to me. The truth is a conquering lion. The truth is will always defeat deception. Just like how you know you see the music industry is falling apart, you you you're gonna see the churches falling apart. And then you're going to realize, everybody realizes the government's not doing anything for the people. So the only choice we have really is for us to look to the leader that's who's going to reestablish a government for our people. And who is and that? That's Yaji Judah. So can I speak to him real quick? Or does he not want to be on camera? <laughs> what, Yaji Judah? Okay, what's up, man? How's it going, brother? What's going on? All right, man. So, you know, I... Very, you know, articula, uh, articulate words from, this your wife, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, very articulate words from your wife. Uh, but I got to ask you, okay. what is this plan, man? Like, what, what, this is the U.S. government we're talking about. What are you going to do 
to withdraw or create your own nation apart from the U.S. government? Well, first of all, we had a nation before we came into the slavery. And this is also connected to Bible prophecy. So a lot of times when we say we're just doing this, we have to understand the Bible is backing us up, just like the Bible back up the churches. So when we bring this gospel out, it will put an end to this world and the beginning of a new world. When you have a new government that bring in new policy, new laws to help the people grow in life. Okay, well, I hear the words. But what are you going to do? What's the actions? It's the judgment. Right now, we, we have a, a judgment against the Roman Catholic Church, the British Empire, which is the nations that run the world. So when we put them judgment on them, our, the jurisdiction get handed over to us. Well, what I'm saying is step one is this, step two is this, step three is this. Fill, fill me in. What are those? Well, well first step, step one, one we, two, three. we're getting our house in order by revealing the truth to our people. This will help our people stand up with the right mind frame, and this will unify us in our mind. Once we unified in the mind, we go and bring forth the judgment. Once we bring forth the judgment, we, we get What do you the mean resources. bring forth the judgment? What exactly does that mean? The judgment is against the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church. Well, I get that, but what does it mean to bring forth the judgment? Like, what action does that entail? Well, right now, we do have a petition to return artifacts that was, to well, that was taken. Um, and you're going to submit that petition to who? To the parliament. Okay, to the parliament in yeah, the UK? Uh-huh. Okay, it, when do you plan actually, on... Actually, it already have been submitted. We, we're waiting to get our signatures in our house in order, which is our people. We're trying to get our people's attention to let them know that this is on the table. Because right now, you got to think, if somebody's going to give a nation over to a group of people, we have to have our stuff in order first. Well, typically, typically in history, um, even when the pen was put to the paper, even with, with this country, right? Pen was put to the paper, we declared independence. We still had to fight. We Correct. still had to fight. So... You know, human nature is they're not just going to give things up mm -hmm. without a fight. What are you prepared to do in case they are ready to fight? Well, that's like other nations. For instance, Russia uh, peaked his Putin, which is in Russia. Right. He peaked his head out and say what? He stand with a black messiah. So we have to understand other nations going to also back us up. So if we need military, we need allies. Those things will be handed to us. So you're saying that Russia, which is one of America's or pretty much America's biggest enemy in the world. You're saying that that's who you're going to rely on to to link up with, and well, I guess the 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 uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend type deal. Like, what's what's going on? Well, no, it, it's more like showing you other nations are going to support us. I mean, and, and listen, yeah, Yakov Roporuski shoot you. I put in my Roporuski zig for Howard University for Washington D.C. Okay, mm -hmm. so Russians don't like black people <laughs> like i can tell you that okay i learned i studied russia i studied russian at howard um and i can tell you from a, a renowned spy okay that was um at one point a double agent mm -hmm. all right and I, you know traditionally russians don't like black people well you, you have a, um you know how I many people in the military go live in russia that's black and they, and they do documents and say they've never been treated with prejudice at all i get right it now, out of all the nations in the world, Russia is the only president that, that held up a, a black Christ, which is an original Renaissance painting. I remember and saying, that. And saying who he's staying with, black people. I get so it. for us to say we studied in a, uh, in a colonized college to make you think people are against you. Like right now, we don't even like Ethiopians. But, huh. that's, but that's our original home, but America didn't teach us this. So a lot of stuff we learn in the colonized, even, it's a, even if it's a... Uh, H HBUC HBCU uh -huh. It's still owned by who? The British You know so these things Are teaching us And colonized. started by white people Pretty you much what I'm all saying? So they're teaching us Colonized information To divide us And really connect us To people who can Really benefit us Like these same people If we come together And start a government Over here All nations will reach out To us and support us Okay Right now So 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 you know One of the hardest Groups of people To get to come together um, our, our, uh, my people. Okay. <laughs> like we're skeptical. We're traumatized. Um, we oftentimes see each other as the first enemy mm -hmm. because, you know, the first people that traumatize us, and sometimes normally our parents, our family, or this or that or the third, our neighbors, whatever it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we have a distrust for each other. Um, that's, that's kind of built into the cake at this point. Right. What are you going to do to get past that obstacle? 
Well, uh, like I tell everybody, everybody respect Christ. Now, whether it's Christ in the sky or whether we reveal Christ in real life, everybody has their respect, whether they're gangsters, whether they the rainbow, whether they in it, whatever creed, color you is, everybody got a respect for Christ. And that's what our mission brings. And that's what people really don't understand about our mission. We reveal Christ in the flesh. This is what we do, and this is what's going to bring peace to the nation because first peace starts right here in your mind. And we don't have that peace. We're all confused. We've been lied to. You know, so that's what's going to bring our peace, and that's what's going to bring our people together. But, and see, this is the struggle. Spreading this information. So you're saying Christ? Yeah. Like, I guess just what? Just talking about Christ? Because preachers do that every Sunday. Well, no, the same. I'm talking about the Christ the CIA been trying to stop from rising. I'm not talking about the Christ there again, the colonizer. So wait, who is this Christ? In. This would be somebody coming from among the people. This would be the Christ that the Bible actually speak of. Okay. You know, like, uh, you, you ever watch the interview with Cat Williams say, they told the lie. We didn't tell the lie. Okay. So since they told the lie, they know the lie. We don't. So the CIA wasn't lied to. They are part of the organization that told the lie. So they've been looking for a Messiah among the people while we've been looking in the sky. So now we have this information for the people to let the people know the Messiah is on earth. Well, I was about to say, I think that I think that any time a Messiah figure rises up, they take him out. So a la Martin Luther King, a la Malcolm X, a la anybody that would be able to coagulate the people, they pretty much take him out. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what what is the actual action? Like, what is, give me something that people are going to be able to sink their teeth into and say, oh, I can get down with that. Other than just like the words, or we should do this, we we've done this, or you know we deserve this, whatever. What what is the the tangible thing? Well, um, the only royal priesthood of the world is the Solomonic dynasty, and we know Solomon from the Bible. So we can go dig up these graves, we can go touch the artifacts of these people, and this is who the Bible is connected to, and this is what they have really hidden from us. So this is the hidden truth that reveals that or that gives understanding to the world. You know, so we have stuff we can put our hands on. So when we speak on certain things, a lot of people might put us in a category of we're not talking about stuff we could touch. So we talk about the solid minded dynasty to bring the true history and what, and what we are really connected to, which is a royal priesthood. So we have this authority, you know. I get it, but all of us aren't, can't be necessarily connected to a royal priesthood. Well, no, not everybody. I, I guess what makes you any different or what makes you guys any different from the other groups that come out here every weekend, they preach, they teach, they do all this stuff, but there's no actual action behind it. I think that that's what people's criticism of a lot of these groups are, right? And so, like, what? that's what I'm saying. Like, what is the difference between you guys and, you know, a lot of the other groups that come out here? Well, we're actually judging and starting a nation. We're not, we're not building a church or we're not teaching our people. We're opening the doors for our people. And the way the doors get open, we set up our own government and we provide our people with resources. So that's what set us apart. Yeah, but resources like the roads and the police and, you know, all these different things, they come from the U.S. government. Correct. Are you going to stop using those well, no, we benefits? Gonna, no, we're going to do it better. Like what you see right now is small. And, it, and it's really not for us. It's, it's for us to be a, over here as lab rats. Our government is going to actually be for us. You know, so that, like I say, like a lot of this stuff we are going to keep, but a lot of stuff we will change. All right. Well, you listen, know? man, I'm, I'm, um, you listen, I'm always down for the advancement of our people. Right. Mm -hmm. And so um, if anybody wanted to tap in with you guys' movement and kind of get a little deeper into it and see what's going on, um, how can they do that? Well, here go the website, yajujuda.com. That's where you can reach out to us. You can, you can check out our petition. You can check out our declaration. This declaration has been sent out to all the higher courts. And that's okay. where you can link in. Link in all right, all right. That name threw me off at first, man. United <laughs> Kingdom of Niggas. I was like, what? <laughs> like, hold on now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too direct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even though I think there's a segment of our population that would actually run to a name like that. They'd be like, what? I think I like that. That sounds like my type of well, place. See, <laughs> they got a little history behind this name also. Like I say, this name is connected to a lineage of black kings. Right, right, we right. We know nothing about. And yeah, no, no, no. I, I know about you know, niggas, but go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, go you ahead. Go, you yeah. Go. yeah, so when you when you look up this name and you look up Ethiopia, this is where the Bible comes from. So this is very important. This is very important information to bring understanding to our people and not okay. and not and not being indoctrinated. Okay, well listen, man. I'm with it, man. Um I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, explaining this whole thing, answer some of my questions. 
Um, I think that people are gonna have a lot more questions because I think I think I think some of those answers people are not gonna be satisfied with. I agree. Okay, I agree. so so I'm interested to further the conversation and you know see what see what all comes from this, right? Okay. So like I say, really appreciate y'all. If anybody wanted to reach out to y'all's cause besides just reaching out, if they wanted to donate or tap in with Instagram or anything like that, do you have that information? Yeah, everything is on the website. Okay, everything so just go to the website, website. yajjuda.com. All right, well, listen, man, we really appreciate you. Definitely wish y'all nothing but the best, all right? My God, make sure you have a good one, man. Yes, sir.